Gwendolyn Barber. Barb is the name of my gang. It is in the middle of my last name. It is in the middle of me. And I have no plan B. Since I was incarcerated, I discovered my artistic self and I claimed it. Okay, my artistic uh, soldiers are a self-portrait. I'm a multimedia artist, but I did that artwork with uh, graphite pencil. Okay, I have a website, kqoa.org, and I'm at, on Facebook, which is my garden. Returning Artist Guild on Facebook and Instagram. On Instagram, I'm kdenae underscore 614. I always mess it up. Hi, my name is Whitney. I created this poster from a place that comes from my childhood struggles and the similar struggles I went through as an inmate. I was incarcerated for seven years. Year after year, similar to my childhood, art has been an outlet and an alternative to the reality that I was living through. It was really my escape. The poster that I have created is a girlish figure and she's kind of on a wonky canvas because I truly feel that reaching for perfection in art distorts what you're really trying to bring out. I just do what I feel and I don't worry about what it looks like and then I'm happy with the outcome. I am definitely a member of the Returning Artists Guild. We hold events all throughout the year. We have a Facebook and an Instagram that we show and advertise our pieces on. Amy Gisman. I am a visual artist, a filmmaker, and one of the founders of the Returning Arts Guild. The Returning Arts Guild is kind of a loose collective of currently and formerly incarcerated artists that put on pop ups and working on professional development together as a group, curating different kinds of exhibitions and events with a variety of media like rap, visual art, film, poets kind of like finding different ways to engage the community and work on shifting the narrative of mass incarceration. People can be inspired by a lot of things. Like I'm mostly inspired by my own trauma. I think there are things that I can't get past emotionally or mentally, but I have to find a way to get past with materials. Okay, so I think a person that I've been really recently inspired by is Johnny Coleman. For work-related reasons, had to transcribe his artist talk multiple times. He was working in a process called assemblage, working on memory and honoring people, but also telling like really real truths. Shout out Johnny.
around the carceral system in the public space and into people's hands. Uh, we started with the intention to work closely with six artists whose work you see on the wall tonight. We also partnered with these amazing organizations in Cincinnati, Wave Pool, which uh, provided us sort of artist entrepreneurial professional development support, and Pole Club, who taught us about the art of silk screen and actually printed the posters. Uh, did just amazingly careful, thoughtful, beautiful work. All of the artists have really different styles. So we have such diversity. For me, art is one of the best ways and sometimes the best excuses to bring people together. People are willing to gather, to experience art alongside of each other. If you are interested in learning more or getting involved, please do reach out to us. Take a look at our website, www.ohioprisonartsconnection.org or check us out on Facebook and Instagram. If you search Ohio Prison Arts Connection, you will find us.